Hey there guys, Ryan Ferran here for Tucson News Now. We are at Tohono Chul Park in the Art of the Cosmos exhibit and we are looking at some fantastic photographs. Yes, these are photographs. This is astrophotography. Some amazing photos of some stars and galaxies millions of light years away. And just look at the detail, the color, and it's really, really cool. The process of taking these photos is absolutely incredible to get it, uh, considering how far away these stars and galaxies are, to get them this sharp, this clear, that, that much accuracy is fantastic. And here to tell us about the process of astrophotography is Ben Johnson, the curator here at this fantastic ex exhibit. And Ben, tell us about the technique of grabbing these fantastic uh, photographs that we see here. Yeah, it's, it's quite a stunning process of achieving these images. Uh, essentially, you know, we're looking at images of the night sky, and um, you know, when you think of the night sky, obviously it's it's very dark. <laughs> so achieving these images requires a very long exposure, sometimes upwards of 40 hours. Um, so there's that fact, but plus there's the aspect of the fact that the night sky is moving, you know, or more accurately, we are moving through the night sky. Uh, so to capture these images with such a long exposure requires that uh, the camera well, that is shooting through the telescope that's used for, for these individual images, it needs to track the sky that whole time. So, um, so you could think about it in, uh, in terms of, you know, if, if the subject is moving, the camera needs to stay right with it. So considering that the, that the camera is doing that in all these images, it really, it's, it's quite incredible. It's quite incredible. We have the Milky Way here. What are we looking at here? So we're looking at home, <laughs> essentially, um, in a broad sense. Um, that's the amazing thing, looking at these images. You know, uh, we're, as you said, we're, you know, these celestial objects are millions of light years away. Um, but, um, but this is home for us, and especially in this piece, this is our Milky Way galaxy. So all of this texture you're seeing, you know, this image looks like it's an abstract image in a lot of ways, uh, but this is our, you know, it's our galaxy, um, and um, this is essentially the window through which we, we look out into, uh, into other far-off galaxies. So this is a piece by David Harvey. Let's take a look at one of uh, Adam Block's pieces over here. He has, all of these are his, and just some fantastic, uh, Photographs here. Which one should we uh, feature here? Yeah, let's see. We can talk about uh, talk about this one here uh, again. As you said, this is uh, Adam Block, and um, this one is called uh, Wolf Star. It's actually named for uh, for the um, astro uh, astronomer, excuse me, who uh, who named named the star. Um, but what we're seeing here is you know one end of what is the cosmic story of stars being born and stars dying. And here we're seeing essentially a star dying. And that, that bubble, this is a bubble nebula, is evidence of the star essentially collapsing and all of that energy, massive amounts of energy escaping from, from the death of that star. And uh, the colors that you're seeing are all evidence of, again, that massive amount of energy and, um, and all the other celestial, basically the cosmic dust that's, uh, that's interacting with that light as we see it. And speaking of fantastic colors, this one over here really pops out and has some fantastic blues and purples and yellows. This is uh, another David Harvey piece. What are we looking at here? So again, you know, you look at this and you think, my goodness, this is a completely abstract image. But we are looking at uh, celestial objects and we're looking at a number of points of light, stars, distant galaxies, that are, the light that we're seeing is actually moving through, again, cosmic dust, other celestial objects, which creates all of that variation. You know, you think of the night sky, or rather, think of sunset, uh, late day sky, um, and you think of those beautiful reds and orange uh, colors that you see in the sky. Uh, same thing that's happening there, you know, the light is bending as the sun is setting. It's, you know, the light is bending from the curvature of the earth and gravitational pull. Same thing is happening here. Um, gravitational pull obstructions are basically creating all of these different variations in color. And that's one of the things that's so fascinating about all of these images in this exhibit is that, you know, again, these photographers have to take long exposure images and a lot of time is spent even after that 
you know, that sometimes 40 hours of uh, exposure time, a lot of time is spent adjusting the color to make it accurate to what one would actually see if they were floating out in space. Very cool. Well, thanks for the explanation, Ben. This is really fantastic uh, exhibit that you guys have done here at Tohono Chul Art of the Cosmos. This is astrophotography, and it is very impressive just looking at the photos. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then when you hear Ben explain how these are done, even more impressive.